first off, if anyone out there is actually watching this, thanks. It means a lot. Anyways, on to the review. Uh, today, we're at the reviewing wall, and I'm reviewing Reservoir Dogs. Now, this movie, <laughs> this movie right here, this movie's fantastic. Now, you know, short review, go watch it. It's fantastic if you haven't already. But, you know, this is pretty, this is a pretty famous movie. This is, um, it's directed by Quentin Tarantino, so, you know, right there is the reason to watch it. His stuff is really good. Um, this is my favorite movie of Quentin Tarantino's. Um, I haven't seen too much of his other stuff. Um, I own Grindhouse, but I haven't watched it yet. But, you know, I've seen all the famous ones, and this is by far my favorite. Now, basically what the, the plot of the movie is, is that a bunch of guys get together, a bunch of criminals get together, and decide to perform a heist, a jewel heist. They go to a jeweler store, and they're doing a heist. But somewhere along the line, it goes wrong, and the police are called in, and they have to escape. Now, basically, what all of them think is that they think that there's a rat among them. They think that one of them sold them out to the cops, but they don't know who. And the whole movie is basically just the aftermath of the um, of the heist and them trying to figure out who the rat exactly is. And all the stuff that transpires after that, you know, you probably already know the ending because it's such a famous scene. But if you don't, I'm not going to spoil it for you. Now, as far as all the characters go, the characters in this are unforgettable. Everyone... Well, except for two, but then again, they're meant to not be there much. You know, the four, like, the four main people, Mr. Pink, Mr. White, Mr. Blonde, and Mr. Orange, you see, those four main guys are the ones that we see the most, and they are fantastic. You know, Mr. Pink, he's the logical one. He thinks about this as business. He thinks of this as a business transaction. Mr. Blonde, the, the cool and collected psychopath. Mr. White, the most sympathetic out of the group, and Mr. Orange, the one who's gotten shot. <laughs> so, you know, but basically... You know, all the ca all the characters are really unforgettable. Despite being criminals, they're really, really likable. And they're very well acted. You know, Steve Buscemi and Harvey Keitel, they're, they're in this movie, and they're fantastic. You know, I can't remember every actor's name, obviously, but, you know, they're all great. They're all very well acted. Quentin Tarantino himself plays a role in the movie, and he's not bad either. You know, he's been in his own movies before. He can, He's an all right actor. But basically, yeah, all the characters are awesome. All the acting is awesome. You know, it's just awesome. Um... What's interesting about this movie is that it takes place primarily in one set, in a warehouse, and the budget for this movie was so low that the, actually, the actors had to supply their own costumes, so, you know, despite this being a primarily one set thing, almost like a play it is, because there's a lot of long cuts and a lot of, you know, it's basically fueled on the dialogue, you know, there is, like, some action, very minimal, but... It's like, it's mainly dialogue, and it's very interesting, very entertaining, and very engaging, despite being, like, in only one set the whole movie. Um, you know, the music in the movie, it's all music from the 70s, I believe, 60s, 70s, 60s, 50s, I think. I don't know the actual, like, the age of the, all of the music, but it's all really awesome music, and it's actually almost like a motif in the movie, because, you know... There's a lot of famous songs in there, and there's that one scene, again, another famous scene in this that involves a song stuck in the middle with you that everyone knows, but once again, I'm not going to spoil it, but it's a great scene. All in all, this movie is just fantastic. For me, it's up there with, like, uh, Psycho and Taxi Driver as one of my favorite movies of all time. It's really hard to recommend this movie, especially when the people actually know what it's about, but... You know, if you're going to recommend this movie to someone, show it to them without them knowing what it's about. I did that to a friend, and we watched it, and he absolutely loved it. He loved the movie. And, you know, we were talking about how, who, if we were a Reservoir Dog, like, who would we be? You know, it's all just great. The directing is great because it's Tarantino, and, you know, the music, awesome music. You know, I love music from the old, from, like, you know, the 60s and 70s, and acting. The acting's fantastic. Overall, I give that movie... Reservoir Dogs, a 10 out of 10. You guys will definitely enjoy it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.